what is good y'all welcome back to the channel it's your boy Phil and today we're heading to a cars and coffee um, I haven't been to a cars and coffee in a good while uh, ever since I've been back from Cali and like ever since the weather started getting cold it's just been too cold to go outside for this shit but today is closer to 50 degrees so it's not terrible yesterday was Friday oh no yesterday was Saturday today is Sunday and these past two days have been pretty okay out. It's a little windy today, so it's a little, it feels a little bit colder, so that's why I have on a bigger jacket. But um, regardless, I was gonna wear a bigger jacket anyway, because when you go, go down towards South Jersey, it gets colder for some weird reason. I guess it's because cl it's closer to the water. But anyway, um, we're heading down to uh, South Plainfield VIP Honda for Cars and Coffee, which I think should be pretty sick. Um, I'm about to meet up with my boy JR who had the uh, white S2000. I think today he's driving the blue S2000 because he put the wheels on it. That's because I convinced him the last time I was there to put the, the wheels on it and drive that car. Damn, you took out the Suzuka one. That shit finally came off my car. That bag, <clears throat> that box was on the front of my car. I ran it over. That's right, there's like a a red S2000 and a silver one. You probably, I don't know if you guys will be able to see them turning. They're probably not going where we're going, but damn. I put in the, uh, on my community tab, I was like M3 or S2000. And so far the S2000 is winning. I mean, I know that the SPK is gonna win because majority of the people that follow me on the channel, um, watches me for, they watch me for the S2K. So, I'm curious, right now, in this video, I want you guys to leave those same comments. What would you rather, S2Ks or M3? You see the S2K right there? Ooh, ooh. Did I pull up to the wrong meet? It's all Type R's out here, what's going on? I know it's at VIP Honda, but damn. All types out here, bro. That's crazy. What's up, Philip? What up? <laughs> Ooh, all the Hondas and my poor BMWs over here by itself. Oh, GTRs, GTRs. Hopefully that's my next car. The boys is out here. It's super. Is high boogie over here? Oh yes. Yeah, Damn, bro, this super is so fire. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, this thing is fire. MR2 is fire. But this Supra. I will I yo I Shit is golden. Y'all hear that shit, bruh? a whole lot of JDM legends out this bitch right now. Oh my god. Oh my god, this shit is fire. Oh. What up, bro? So we're leaving the cars and coffee because they shut it down. <laughs> they made everyone get out. It was supposed to be 9 to 12. It's 11.30, so I guess that's not terrible. But um, yeah, they basically kicked everyone out and told all of us to go home. So I don't know where everybody went because they kind of blocked off the side of the road. 
um, so that way we couldn't make a left out of the Honda. So now we're just gonna, um, I'm by myself. I don't know where everybody else went. So I gotta figure out where everybody went. Plus your boy's hungry. It was pretty cool though. There's a lot of fire ass cars that pulled out. Like, well, that not pulled out, but that came out. And surprisingly, the M3 got a good amount of attention. I didn't think it would. But I guess because it was like one of the only BMWs there and I was like on air suspension and shit. And like where I was parked, the car was kind of like stupid low. Like the lip was like on the ground. So, you know, it got a little bit of attention, which I didn't think it was going to get. But M3 kind of did good today. Did good today. I got a lot of people who came up to me and was like, what up, what up? So, I mean, today was fun. The funniest one was like when people saw me, you know, and they were like, yo, where's your car? <laughs> and they stayed right next to it. All right, guys, so it's the next day. Um, I decided that I wanted to change my push to start emblem to the red one. I've had this for maybe about, I don't know, ever since I got the car, really, because I changed this a little while ago. I put, like, this little carbon fiber M trim on it. So now I just want to add the um, red push to start button. So <clears throat> what you have to do is really is just, you know, pop all the tabs out. It's all tabs going across the whole thing. And then I just pulled it out using a flathead on this side, on the passenger side. And then everything came out. And then there's a couple tabs in the back here that you have to pull. Um, and then it's able to just come out freely. So I'm just going to pull the tab. Or push in the tab on the start button itself. And then I should be able to get the push to start to come out. But it's hard to do it with the camera in my hand. So I'm going to try to do it without the camera real quick. Alright, so I was able to pull off the silver tab. It was just like this one little clip here. So now the push to start button is more free. So I should be able to pop the black tab out and be able to, well, pop out the black uh, start stop engine button and place it with the new one. So I was able to pop out the black one with just using a flathead. Um, it was like a, maybe I think like two or three tabs. So the engine portion of the button down here, as you guys see where my, uh, middle or my ring finger is pointing at should go here it should line up with this piece here and then it should just clip into place and now you see it right push to start nice little subtle clean look right nice it's just a little subtle touches next thing I want to get is the uh, red M button here so that way it can match that just the little things just the little things you know little little details Also, I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure if this comes with a car if the previous owner did this or not, but this almost looks like some type of like a leather carbon fiber because it has stitching and all that in it, which is pretty fire. It also has it down here too. Because it doesn't feel like a vinyl wrap, it feels like material, like some type of leather or something. But it gives off the impression as if it was carbon fiber. So right now I'm just finishing weeding out some of these stickers that I gotta make for you guys. So I always try to tell you guys to be patient with me just because like it's just me who does everything. Um, I try to get everything out as soon as I can. But you know I mean I do try to take my time so that way everything does come out good and it's not rushed. But this here, what I'm doing right now is called weeding and this is what takes the longest for me to do. Cause I have to literally peel out each individual little thing and then um, you know, you'll start seeing the sticker come to life. But, yeah. These are just, this is just one of my little side hustles that I've always been doing ever since I've, like, gotten a car community. Because, like, when I first started out, you know, when stickers was a kind of a thing. I don't know. Maybe just, like, where I'm at or whatever. But stickers was kind of a thing where guys used to just put them all over their cars. And, like, you know, little, little funny ones and whatnot. So then I kind of got tired of paying people to do it. So then I was like, you know what, I'm going to invest in one myself because, you know, I know people are going to come and hit me up to get stickers. And literally when I did it, I was able to like make some money back and, you know, it was just a cool little side hustle, especially like during car season because, you know, a lot of like car crews or car teams will hit me up and be like, hey, we need this many banners for um, our crew and blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, I'll hook it up. So, you know, it's always cool to have little side hustles 
that's how I always kind of stayed afloat with anything that I did. I always kind of tried to keep a side hustle. So right now I'm peeling out someone's Instagram name. So like I said, this is kind of just the hardest part. I feel like when you're in a car community, you should always have like a, like a little side hustle just cause like, you know, car parts and everything always becomes expensive. Nothing is ever like cheap with it. All right, we nighttime cruising. I'm about to head to the gym. So actually, I already recorded this, but I messed up and on the GoPro and I thought it was recording and it never recorded. So I got to do it all over again to put this out for you guys. So I decided I'm just going to drive the, uh, the M3 to the gym because your boy's trying to, you know, lose this quarantine weight so basically the reason why you guys clicked on this video is because you guys want to know how much did I spend on this m3 and do I own it and a whole bunch of other stuff that I always see in the comment section I always have a lot of you guys asking me um, you know not really asking me but always see like comments like well bro why would you spend why would you finance an older M3? That's such a waste of money. I watch people go broke trying to, you know, keep up with the M3 and et cetera, et cetera. And sometimes I respond back and sometimes I don't. But, you know, one thing for sure, I never try to talk about money on my channel because I don't want to ever feel like I'm rubbing it in you guys' face. So um, I'm just going to kind of like give you guys a breakdown of everything and letting you guys know that this M3, oh, this M3, is owned by me and that was Vanessa her purse hit the damn shifter <laughs> yeah so when you pulled your purse it pulled it it was pulled it pulled the gear yes <laughs> but anyway I own this m3 all right my name clean title and everything okay so the big question how much did I spend on getting this M3? So, I paid 18000 for this M3. That is literally how much I paid. The guy had it up for nineteen five, And I told myself, well, I told, I was just talking to, to my boy, man, because he was the one who went with me to go look at it. And I was saying, yo, I'm just, I know he wants nineteen five, but money talks. You get what I'm saying? I'm going to go there with the cash. I'm pretty sure he'll accept it. So, I went there with the cash. He was trying not to hassle, ended up getting him down to 18. So the next big question, the M3 came with 124K miles on it, right? Came with 124K miles on it. Now, to some of you guys that may feel like it's a lot of miles, some of you guys might say that's nothing. So the reason why I went with a little bit more of a high mileage M3, and it's not, it's not really because of like, I couldn't afford to do the maintenance or like I didn't want to do the maintenance, but it was just like, I know if a person tries to sell a car before 100k miles, especially BMWs, they're trying to avoid um, doing maintenance on their cars. So with this M3, right, throttle actuators were done, rod bearings were done. I have the receipts for all of it, literally everything, all the receipts. So I don't have to worry about, you know, that stuff for now. I'm not going to say how many miles because you never know, things happen, but I know that it was done and it was done last year. So, you know, that kind of preempt me to be like, okay, you know what, I kind of want to go with this one because I saw a couple other M3s that were way lower miles, but they were beat. Like, front bumpers were chipped up, dented, or fading here and there, seats weren't on in mint condition. Like, it just wasn't for me. And this M3 was like the spec that I wanted. You know, even though I kind of wish I either got a black or, or a, a blue M3, I found the M3 that was manual. I did want to get a manual one. I wanted I wanted to get one that had the carbon roof and like carbon accents and whatnot. And this car came with it. Yeah, it did come with the miles, but you know what I mean? Like I felt like for what I paid, I got a lot. You know, it came with an exhaust system. The exhaust system was like fifteen hundred dollars. It came with the GT, the GTS front lip, the rear carbon diffuser, the carbon mirrors and carbon roof. Um, I'm not sure if this is a comp package because from what I've been told, because I said it in a video once, someone told me that the comp techs don't come until like 2011, so I'm not going to say that it's a comp, 
package, but it does come with a carbon roof and all that good stuff. So, I'm not gonna say that it's in a, a comp package, but it did come with all of that. It actually came with an upgraded uh, system, like the music system. Um, came with a radar, a couple other things that like, was like, you know what? I'll just go with the car because I felt like the car was really, really clean inside and out. Like I said, six speed, Fox Red interior, no dents on the body panels, maybe a little, you know, little rock chips here and there on the back bumper or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But it was mint all the way around carbon carbon roof was no it wasn't fading or anything like that so it kind of made me want to buy the car more you know what i mean all the motor work everything that was done to it receipts and all that stuff was there so you know what i mean i was just like you know what i feel like this would be a better buy it does have a little bit more miles but it's a better buy and i know that the owner you know took care of the car so like i said i know a lot of you guys always ask me like you know well what made you want to get the m3 or you know why didn't you get another car whatever whatever the m3 was another um car that i've always had my eye on but it was always kind of out of my reach like the s2000 was kind of out of my reach but like i was able to get it and you know afford it and whatnot but the m3 was always kind of expensive you know like even for for how much i paid like i paid eighteen thousand for this car so it's like it's still expensive so i knew that the the ones that had a little bit less miles because honestly all of them that i saw had but basically like 90k it was like 100k and they were going for like 23 22 so i paid for i paid 18 for one that was a little bit modified not overly modified for 18 and you know i still made some of my money back because i was able to take some of the parts off that i didn't need and sell so you know that's just a little thing for the m3 i know a lot of you guys wanted to know that you know how much i spent so me i paid 18,000 for this car cash in my name clean title in new jersey so you know if you guys you know are looking for m3s just always try to like make sure that maintenance and everything was done because i'm telling you it is ex it is seriously expensive to fix a lot of the things especially like if you don't have someone that doesn't know bmws you know like i have my boy main who's blueprint auto he's good with the bmw so he's always down to help me whenever i need help but you know for someone who doesn't have a friend like that it's going to be expensive to like maintain a lot of these cars so you know always be mindful of that you know it's easy to get a car it's easy to buy a car but it's kind of hard to maintain it you know that's why like a lot of these rappers they switch their cars out every two years because once they break yeah i mean twenty thousand dollars to change a wheel that starts to add up and you got four wheels <laughs> like, so you know you always got to be mindful of those things but that's pretty much it for today's video i know you guys wanted to know like I said, I always see it in the comments about how much I spent on my M3 or, you know, blah, 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 if I own it or am I financing it. I own the car. I have the title. The title is going to be in the thumbnail. Obviously, I'm not going to let you guys physically see the title because it has my address and all that stuff on it. And we don't need no stalkers. So, but I do own the car. And that's pretty much it for today's video. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I know you guys got to see some cars and coffee, a little bit of a interior upgrade. Yeah, you know I mean, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys haven't already subscribed to the channel, it's your boy Phil, and I'm out. Peace. At first, I wasn't gonna show you guys, but I was like, you know what? I know someone's gonna comment and be like, ah, he doesn't own it because he didn't show the title. So there you go, title, 2008. I don't know if I really wanna show the VIN because you guys could look up the VIN and figure out a lot of shit, which is pretty weird. So I'm not gonna do that, but just know, 2008, wait, focus, 2008 BMW M3, all right?